Representatives from Public Service Enterprise Group, the company working to get this transmission line up and running. They were at the meeting tonight in Baltimore County and residents grilled them with questions for hours. But PJM, the regional transmission organization, the organization overseeing electricity for this entire region and the agency that decided this transmission line was necessary, they were invited, but they didn't come. So now we've been pressing them for answers, asking why. With the sun setting at Hereford High School. There's lots of questions that are not being answered. During a marathon meeting in a packed auditorium. You're ruining my retirement in my life. There are other ways. You need to find them. No one in the audience was mincing words. You sit here and you say you don't know what health impacts is going to be. Who did you meet with? We met with state leaders, county leaders, and state county leaders at that time. Specifically? Specifically, we went with state leaders and county leaders. By name, sir. Specifically, we went with state leaders and county leaders. If we met with. Will PSEG be using eminent domain to secure land for the development of this project? I am really sorry that it's being seen as a threat. That was not. That I was not. So let me. Please let me finish, and I want to explain, right? I get it. We put it on our website. We were getting asked the questions, and all we were saying, or what we meant to say, and I get that it didn't come across like that, is yes, we would have the same rights that's afforded any other public utility. But I want to be clear. That's last resort. We are looking to negotiate with property owners. The sound of community pushback on the Maryland Piedmont Reliability Project, a proposed 70 mile transmission line with residents concerned their farms, properties and families could be put at risk. With increased loads from data centers and other outlets, it's a project that's designed to meet growing energy needs. A lot of the same questions are being asked and you still do not have the answers to those questions. While representatives from PSEG, the company trying to build the transmission line, spent hours trying to answer questions. Well, I get it, you're never going to trust us, but hopefully you consider us to be honest. We're not going to lie to you. A lingering question is about PJM, who isn't here. They're the regional transmission organization who awarded this project to PSEG. Them not being here is an absolute disgrace. I think they have a responsibility to show up to these public forums and answer the questions. While Mangione is calling for more transparency from PJM, PJM says they are being transparent, saying they attended meetings last year and this past summer. They say they've also been addressing stakeholders. They say now the conversation is about the route of the transmission line, which they say they don't decide and is in PSEG's lane. They're saying that their part of the project is over, and I think that that's an outrage. I think it's shameful that they're not here tonight. If they were being transparent, they would do what PSEG is doing now, and they would come here like they did in Frederick, and they would come here to North Baltimore County. And it is important to note at this point, nothing with the project has been finalized and none of the routes have been officially decided. There will also be another meeting tomorrow in Carroll County. That meeting will start at 6 at the Agricultural Center. Live in Baltimore County, Jessica Babb, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.